Hi there, this is Tim with a video comparing my old Zotac GTX 970 with my brand new NVIDIA 1080. So you can see in, for this benchmark I'm using Elite Dangerous, which is a space game. The benchmarks do differ slightly um, in that when you take off from the station here you will be placed in a slightly different uh, docking location but it's similar enough that you can kind of see what the actual frame rate gains are going to be. Now the GTX uh, 970 you can see it, it hovers around 120 frames a second for a large part of this. Um, what I found in a triple, sc a triple screen 1080p configuration that I normally play the, the uh, game in it does dip below 60 frames a second at times and um, that seems to happen in planetary rings, places where there's a lot going on, there's a lot of other ships and things like that. The GTX 1080 however, um, I've never seen it dip below kind of 170, uh, 160 thereabouts in a triple screen 1080p configuration. For the purposes of this benchmark, um, I did a, a single screen, 1080p screen, and um, obviously tried to be as similar as possible with what I was doing, so you can do a direct comparison between the two. And um, obviously, this is to help you make a purchase choice. Uh, these are the kind of videos that I try to look for when I'm looking to make a purchase, and um, hopefully it helps someone. As you can see, there's some pretty significant gains. It's, it's 100 to, at times, 120 frames a second extra that you're actually looking at from this card. And, you know, I don't need that, but this is about stability. I want to be locked at 60 frames a second um, and not have any dips below that and uh, not have my PC struggle with this game, which is obviously why I purchased. Hope this helps again. Thanks. Bye.